all right so welcome back to our continuation class on data augmentation in the previous class we looked into data augmentation specifically on single image so we took a single image of a medical x-ray chest x-ray and then we augmented that in this class we are going to look into data augmentation by using multiple images as always I'm Victor and I will be your guide in this tutorial what we want to know is this in the practical world we always deal with multi-class classification or maybe binary classification as an instance of a multi-class classification so if you look at these two little creatures here you could actually see that we have a cat and a dog is a famous example that's why I took that our aim is how do we now augment this so that we have multiple instances of this and then use that to generate a data set in which we can actually use to train our model so if you look at these two creatures this is an image of a cute looking cat and that of a dog everybody knows that let's say i want to build a classifier that will be able to dictate whether instances i have belongs to cats versus dog images okay i don't know how to draw a, do do a dog i don't need for that so the first instance is that of a cat and the second is that of a dog now this is just one variation of the cat how about if this cat is lying on its back will my model be able to classify that obviously it should how about if the dog is maybe on its or hind limbs only all right or maybe the dog is just playing maybe the dog is lying on the right, right side of it so because of this we need to feed various or variations of images or variety of images i beg your pardon so because we want our model to be able to generalize in the real world data right in the real world data we have to feed it varieties or variations of the same image right just in case if you don't understand what we are talking about please feel free to look at part one of this video lecture so this is part two of it and shortly afterwards i will put out a video on part three where we have maybe an ex that, that would be an extension of this class so in part one we also dwelt on various aspects of data augmentation and in this class we are focusing on multiple i mean instances and applying data augmentation to that so without further ado let's dive straight into the demo section now if you remember i showed you a simple demo on my jupyter notebook right hence i'm going to call up my jupyter notebook as well and then we see this and sun so you can do that as well by just typing jupyter notebook since i already have it open i don't think it's needful to repeat the same thing again and again there you are and this is my jupyter notebook so just in case you didn't understand what this means what most of the comments here means please feel free to see the previous video lecture now this is our aim our aim is just to look at the part two of three which is using multiple images to demonstrate data augmentation let's run through the code we imported all the necessary libraries and i believe by now all this makes sense to you but there is an extension of the previous code which is something we call what multi images so this is a directory prefixing it right and then i have another subdirectory i mean this is a variable name okay that points to this directory all right so multi images i will show you that in a while so why don't i show you now so if i get to my code remember the code is data augmentation 101 and it is resident in the same directory with multi images right so i have downloaded just two images the same image i used in the example lecture that of a cat and that of a dog we want to augment this now 
maybe we want to get instance 20 instances of each of them or 40 samples of each of this, this class and how do we do that so there you go and another thing if you see here you see multi augmented right multi augmented is empty this is where we are going to populate the augmented this is where the augmented images is going to reside now this is what we have here okay so let me explain this first and this is pretty easy is the same thing which we had in the previous class but something is little different here i just want only 20 samples of them all right so i'm gonna run this loop from 0 to 19 as soon as it goes beyond 19 it breaks off and it lose analogy again that this is similar to your epochs right in your maybe even in your ann class okay it's just similar to your epochs so i'm commenting that out and then let's look at this now so what happens here is i will be pointing this directly okay i'll be pointing the, my uh, system directly to the what the part where the images are residing yes and if you see i have set a default size right i have prefixed all the images to be of the same size right i don't want an image to maybe be of a difference maybe like 128 pixels of 128 cross 128 and another one is maybe like 200 cross 200 or 200 cross whatever as we've seen in the previous slide right so because of that i decided to keep a fixed width the dimension here is going to be 256 vertically and 256 horizontally that means along the x and y coordinates this is what happens here and then initially i created an array that will hold what my data set and it's empty now i'm going to pass that in here but before i pass it in i'm going to split this on the word extension name dot jpg right so i'll split this now all right because i want to change this into what png which i'm going to augment right usually png gives me better resolution and then what i will do i will resize it into what x in cross y right fine and then i'll add that into the database so to ensure that you follow along i have decided to clear the kernel and then we'll be starting this afresh now there you go the kernel is cleared and let's start this from the beginning now i'm going to run this now so this is done right and then get into the data gen the same thing that is done and remember i pointed you to that folder which was called multi images so i'm going to run this as well that is done and then this is the function right that splits this and then take all the examples of the image and then store it in a in our database i mean data set which is an empty array this is done as well and then this is going to run it for what 20 times okay and then save it into a folder called multi augmented just in case if you've forgotten let's look at the multi augmented folder is empty so we expect to see 40 samples of each 20 sample in in each of the categories so we run this now let's see what happens now this is done and let's get back to the folder and see if it is created or not so when we get back here what we can literally see is yes we have it created and you see about 40 of them are here all right so this is what we have and you could now literally see that most of them okay the images are looking actually crisper but you see in some cases you see even the card is little down so these are all I explained in the first lecture where we spoke about variations of what a documentation right so this is done and um, what else do we have let's look at the code once more literally nothing we have reached the end of it and in the next class i'll be continuing with what the part three of this lecture but before that let's understand how we started okay so if you remember vividly um in this scenario we are only able to look at what the demo session on what multiple images right and with this i want to thank you for your patience listening and for staying through with me for holding on to the end of this lecture and if you have made it thus far i deem it fit to invite you to subscribe to this channel and give that thumbs up right? and hit don't forget to hit the notification bell icon as well so you'll be informed whenever we have a new lecture and um, we will really appreciate it if you could literally spread the word across to your friends and encourage them to watch as well and it's always until next time happy viewing